And new this morning, we're taking a look into the manufacturing industry after the governor's state of the state address just yesterday. Fewer jobs are being filled in certain sec sectors, although the need for skilled workers is still there. In a story you'll see only on 2, Jitzel Puente is live to explain the biggest challenge and how some local companies are thriving despite those challenges. Jitzel? Aaron, we're seeing there are jobs in the manufacturing industry here in the state that are not being filled, although the demand is there. The Tulsa Regional Chamber CEO says that it's about finding trained employees and meeting the company's needs. Now, we've seen that the manufacturing employment has declined here in the state for the third straight month in June, a trend that's been being reflected across the U.S. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, the sector added an average of 8,000 jobs per month this year, compared to 20 22,000 jobs per month in 2018. Still, some local companies such as Hill Manufacturing and Broken Arrow say they're thriving. Yesterday, it was recognized as an emerging manufacturing leader for their leadership and contributions in the industry by OK to Grow. In the past, it's hired high school students to train on the job and earn school credit. Second semester, they actually will start part-time jobs in local manufacturers and they are being paid for those part-time jobs and they're earning high school credits. The average annual impact of manufacturing in Northeast Oklahoma is $4 billion with about 23,000 employees in the labor force. Now the nonprofit OK to Grow that awarded yesterday's local manufacturers works with five local high schools in the Tulsa metro area and they train students to get into the workforce into manufacturing in the future. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Jitzel Puente to Works for You. All right, thank you, Jitzel.